questions about the coursework before we start? Very good. Do we need to show all the screenshots of every year? No, you don't need to show all the screenshots of every year. Only one of them? Yeah. However, if you are building something like in Tableau, for example, and you want to show all the years, yes. a great thing to do would be to do a screen capture demo. You know what I mean? So you film, you record your screen, just like I'm doing now, actually. As a video. As a video, upload that to Vimeo or YouTube, and then include the link okay. to, um, <clears throat> yeah. No, then, sorry, no more questions. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, no, she has more questions. What, what were the other questions? And, uh, uh, I want to check. Um, my age span is five years, uh, and uh, the, I, cons I consider six years, and for a country, will that be okay, or is uh, less? Or Which years did you look at? Recently. The last six years or something? Yeah. Do you have a reason for choosing the last six years? I guess it is if you have a good reason. Yeah. But to me, six years is very short. Like I would have to, I'd have to, you know, think of a really good reason for only having six years. If you have a good reason, then it's fine. But if you don't have a good reason, I would, I would recommend more than six years. Normally, how long will be? Uh, maybe like 50 or 100 or something like that. Like if you just were choosing an arbitrary value, you'd want to choose something higher. But if you think, if you have a hypothesis about six years, like I believe that the, this thing happened in the last six years and I have a very good reason for choosing this six years. The cold influence the uh, that rate. Yeah. Okay. That in that case, I would choose something like twenty years. Twenty years. Yeah. Yeah. You compare the pandemic years versus the last twenty years and see how they compare. Okay. For example, yeah. I think that's a good thing to look at. By the way. Any other questions? Okay, another um, question? I have a similar question to us. Uh, yeah. I made a photograph uh, with a lot of uh, sub, uh, sub graphs. Uh, so I don't know whether it's okay because uh, I want to analyze uh, every uh, 10 years of age and uh, uh, have uh, the, uh, the period between two, uh, 1995 to 2050. Okay. And you want to show one graph for each year or something like that, or? I, I have done something like this, uh, <coughs> because it's static and uh, it's uh, obvious uh, what happened. But uh, uh, I don't know whether it's uh, uh, the medical <coughs> one is uh, better or just the uh, static one. So, so in, the, in your case, I would recommend choosing one static picture and again, creating a screen capture demo video to show the, the changes over time. Like if you want to show 50 years of changes with a slider. But if I use the changes, I still have a time, yeah, the time box. Okay, in that, in that case, you could still do one screen capture demo that shows all, all the things that you want to show. But you don't want to submit a report with, you know, more than two pages, really. Uh, where, oh, that's the wrong coursework. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> but yeah, you, you want to limit your submission to two pages. You don't want to submit 10 pages of graphs. Uh, yeah, I, I have uh, one graph with yeah. uh, 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 with a lot of subgraphs, so it can be pulled in one page. 
And then I'll pay you for this membership. Okay, yep, that's that would be okay. But uh, it's all of the sub, subgraphs, I <coughs> If there are too many subgraphs, then you need to think about your approach and then create a screen capture demo. So there it is, screen capture demo. There it is, it's right in the template. <clears throat> yeah, does that make sense? Like, you don't want to submit 10 or 100 images or 10 or 100 subgraphs. You want to show that in an animation in a screen capture demo. Like uh, if you're using Tableau, there is often like a slider for the years. Um, yeah. And you could slide that, you could show the interaction over the years in a screen capture demo. Yeah. Yeah. Question? So in the demo, do we have to show all the years, or we can just show one or two years? So, uh, to prevent you that we can do that. I guess it's optional the screen capture demo, but the idea is, if you have an observation, right? One of the key parts of your assignment is an observation, like here, unique observation. If you need a screen capture demo to show your unique observation, then you really want the screen capture demo. You know what I mean? Yes, you might be able to make your unique observation with just one screenshot, like here. There's no screen capture demo here. I can make a very special observation with just this image, a static image. And you can see it. There's one square that's orange, it's different than all the rest. And then the question is, whoa, what's that? So like, I discovered something by creating an image of it. I didn't have to do a screen capture demo. But you might discover something like, oh, the year 1950 is very special, and look, as I scroll through the years, it cha everything changes in 1950, or something like that. <clears throat> If I found something um, unique feature, uh, should I find another, uh, f uh, find the reason about it? That would be very good, yes. Yes. Yep. Yeah, I can do some analysis about it. Exactly. If you find something very, like an outlier in the data, then you can use Google to find out why there's an outlier why? there. Yeah. Right, uh, <coughs> then, where should I put it? In the document or in the video? Uh, in the unique observation part of the document, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And you could say, oh, I discovered that this happened in 1950, and here's a link to the article that, that uh, supports my observation. Yeah. So, should I talk about it again in video? If you want, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> My pleasure. <clears throat> Any other questions? How many words should I write in the uh, illustration? Because I have. You, know, you want to write like 5,000 words or something? <laughs> <laughs> How many words do you want to write? When I see the, the demo, the, the template, you just. Yeah, it's very concise. I love templates, as you know. Yeah. And I make a unique observation. It's like really a, a nice uh, example. Well, I don't have a word limit. I didn't think it was necessary for this assignment. But try not to go over two pages, let's say. Yeah. But I don't have an exact word limit. It, don't don't add words because you think oh I'm gonna get more points if I just add more words like don't do that. <clears throat> sure. What could the uh, what would the video structure be like? The video what? Um, the length. The, the video structure. Structure. Oh. <clears throat> How to organize? Well, 
you could organize it similar to the template if you wanted to. Um, you know, you could you could go through the different points. Yeah. Should I add some lyrics about it? Well, the, if you think about it, really, the the kind of what the video can show that paper cannot show is the interaction. So if you have if you're using Tableau, you know that it's very interactive, right? You can change sliders, you can click boxes, you can use on mouse over, all of that you can capture in a video, but you can't capture it so well in paper. So that's the that's the inspiration, let's say, for the video. Like to capture those qualities, those dynamic properties that you can't capture in a static image on paper. So th think about that. That will be like the focus, let's say, of the video. Right? Like, I want to demonstrate the interactive features or the, the animation. There could be animation in the video. Yeah. <clears throat> Other questions? I draw the picture by Python, so should I add my code into it? So. Uh, <clears throat> in that case, you could have a URL again to the GitHub where your code is, that would be the best. So you upload your code to GitLab or GitHub and say it's here and there's a link. I could actually add that to to the to, uh, to the to the template app actually. So again this is optional URL to source code. Uh, if you use a programming language like R or Python, you can provide a link to GitLab or GitHub where your code is stored. <clears throat> yeah, so that's optional. Other questions? <clears throat> I got some questions on Teams. Did anybody ask questions on Teams? <clears throat> some people did. And I haven't replied to them all yet. So, hi Bob, I have quite a few conference papers that I am using for Research Methods 3, Coursework 3, I guess. Is this acceptable? <clears throat> or do they need to be specifically scientific articles or journals? So, <clears throat> conference papers are fine as long as they have a DOI. <clears throat> also, I found very interesting papers from 2019. Yep, that's fine. <clears throat> Recent papers are fine. <clears throat> uh, they don't have to be old. Okay, and I got some other que Are there any other questions there? Oh, this one. For how long? Oh, it's my question. That's yours? Okay, so I answered that one. <coughs> See lecture. <coughs> okay, here's another one. With regards to course number three, should we still try to include a representative image for all ten summarize? Uh, all ten? Well... <coughs> I would say all 10 is not necessary. Uh, maybe, maybe just choose maybe four or five. Maybe four or five of the most interesting ones. Oh, there's another question. <clears throat> 
I, I guess I fell behind somehow. Do you have, what is cool, do you have the PDFs in the DOI in the references section? Okay, even if it doesn't match the referencing style. <clears throat> um, including the DOI is a good idea, but not a link to the PDF. You'll notice, like, this person could have answered her own question. Does anybody know how? Like, you can just look. I'm using references in the coursework, right? So the, the coursework has references, and you can see how I'm using references, uh, right? So that's a reference. So if you follow the style I'm using, it's going to be fine. So what we found out about is you use because I want to uh, use it automatically. I believe this is called Harvard style. Oh. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> Okay, when are we able to upload our coursework to three? I don't see any. Uh, <clears throat> okay, I will create a submission uh, early next week. <clears throat> wow, I, I don't see, I don't understand how I missed these questions. So is it accepted to prove age and year into your ranges in order to make the large data? Yes. <clears throat> yes, this is fine. Also, would it be appropriate to modify the data by combining? Yes, modifying. Modif modifying the data is fine. For example, creating groups. You have to create groups if you want to use a tree map. Right? Tree maps require groups. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> For coursework. Oh, okay, so these aren't that old actually. These are pretty new questions. For some reason I was imagining that they're much older. For the coursework to give in the HMD data set, you were course, I found that there were only, is not only the death rate data in the HMD, but also other statistical data and so on. So I wonder, can I use population as my visualist? <clears throat> yes, you can use the population data and any other data you would like to add. For coursework three, if I don't find a relevant survey on my topic, can I choose ten related articles? <clears throat> yes, you can. However, there is most likely a survey paper on your topic. <clears throat> I mean, it's hard to imagine a topic where there's no related survey paper. I think that if there's going to be a survey paper for basically any topic, it's hard to imagine. Oh my gosh, look at all these questions. <laughs> Is anybody even following this? <clears throat> I have a question about course work too. I've chosen one country, one in America, and one in Australia. Well, I've chosen two countries. Is it necessary to increase the number of countries? <clears throat> uh, three countries. One country in Europe, one in America, one in Australia. Okay. <clears throat> I guess this is okay as long as you have a substantial number of years. Do you want us to compare the papers or just write the summaries? Two songs is quite challenging, so I still don't want to add anything necessary. <clears throat> 
comparisons are good, but not required. <clears throat> Only summaries are required. For course number three, is there a 10% tolerance in the 2000 work count? Okay, or is it a hard maximum? That was, we discussed that in last lecture. For coursework three, please could you provide us with some more examples of data characteristics, just as you did for the type of evaluation in coursework three? Thanks. Uh, <clears throat> I can't really do that. Uh, <clears throat> you can show me your coursework before the deadline and I can give you feedback. Okay, is Elisa here? No, I don't suppose she's here, right? For coursework three, do we need to use connected papers to find all the papers as there are some I found on Google Scholar that are not showing? Do we have to use connected papers to find more useful views on Google Scholar? <clears throat> oh, okay, I, I answered that one. Okay, okay, so it looks like I'm all caught up. Any other questions? Did, did I miss any? We should see if we can get to a hundred questions. Because <laughs> I'm tight. Okay, well, if there are any other questions, I think there are some, actually. I got some more here, yeah. So, <clears throat> yesterday I spoke after the lecture and showed you my visualization of a tree map for coursework two. There you spotted that there was no hierarchy present in my tree map. So I created a test graph to understand what a hierarchy in a tree map is and how it might look like. So, <clears throat> yes, this one looks better. So you'll notice in coursework too, it says very common error is to provide a tree map with no hierarchy. So that's what she had yesterday. It was a tree map with no hierarchy. But now she's, she's created a hierarchy. Okay, and I think there's another one. <clears throat> okay, more questions? Anybody counting the number of questions? <laughs> <laughs> So, I have a couple of doubts regarding research methods, coursework. Two, is it okay to use Excel for visualization? One is yes. Is sunburst allowed? Two, that's yes. There are several versions of the same data set for each country which are aggregated in different intervals or age ranges. Is it okay to use any of this data set to plot the visualization? So three is yes. And then four. <clears throat> How many countries are ideally needed in the visualization? It's okay to use just three or four countries or us. So uh, I would say the more the merrier. However, three to four is okay if you can make a nice observation from this data. So that's the goal, is to learn something, right? If you can learn something and show something new and create a nice image, that's the goal, right? It's not about, like, how many countries do I need? It's the, whatever the number of countries you need to create a nice observation and learn something new. That's, that's the idea. Any other? Questions? <clears throat> Do I have 
have anything on my face. <laughs> okay, if there are questions or comments, you can interrupt at any time. Yep. In the media. <laughs> yep. Uh, could I talk about what is the advantages of my uh, of my uh, of my charts? Mm -hmm. okay. Definitely. Yeah. <clears throat> and yeah, you can. You'll have a chance to like on Wednesday. I'm going to not have like a proper lecture, and it's just going to be questions and answers about crosswalks two and three and. I'll, I'll put aside some time to look at people's coursework if they want to show them to me on Wednesday. Yeah. Other questions?